Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back. Ooh, I was miscentered there. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Europe, one of Universalis 4 as Yemen. Where we left off, we had just finished occupying Medina, and we were working on occupying um, Mara and deoccupying Oman. So, yeah, I'm going to lose the legitimacy. That's a lot of ducats. I think the, that was the Hajj caravans raided again. But we're, we're holding, I think we're holding pretty fast here. I was planning on trying to do a investment in here if this place ever ticks up to prosperity and it did that brings me local development costs and then I'm going to slot in encourage development again and that means I can come in here for example and I can buy up some production on the cheap cheap which is you know potentially 8 0 0.8 production per month I think I will also buy a little bit of perhaps, I think I'm saving up for this, so I think I'll spend a little bit of mill power here to get this up as well. And then I'll do this again, because this will give me yet another chunk of cash. So the trade value in here is getting out of this world really, really great. And then similarly, I'm going to do something similar over here. Get a couple of points in this guy bring it up to his maximum imbalance. And that's going to mean I make a lot more money out of coffee. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm waiting until I get the uh, scientific revolution before I buy a tech. And I had a, I had almost had enough to get my diplo tech. So there you go. That explains that, I hope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's move towards legalism. Because we're not fully legalized right now. We're not getting our full benefit. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't have quite as good maneuver, so I'm going to have to start using smaller stacks soon. Unless there is a supply limit soon, you know, three techs away. So, yeah, I'll probably have to split up. Okay, I just gained some prestige. Okay, we caught them. We managed to do a little bit of manipulation. And we should take them on pretty easily. There it is. Kaboom. Excellent. And they'll probably run to here. And then we'll be able to wipe them out nice and easy. Okay. So let's grab this guy. And we will shift consolidate. Attach a siege. And then move there. In fact we'll do that the other way around. Tell you what we'll do. Is we will create a new army. Is that... So, get rid of all the cavalry. So he should siege that down relatively quickly. Uh, let's see. Can we stand in the way of pro progress? So let's see. The merchant guilds will lose loyalty. That would bring them down a quite low, actually. And we'll get conflict within the city. But we will get base production. So that would be Zabid and Adan. And these are really good. Potentially a lot of unrest here if I do this. But it would get me base production. Whereas I could... Otherwise, get extra tax off them and make my merchants more loyal. I think I like the idea of getting getting extra production. Uh, what we're going to have to do, though, is talk to the merchant guilds and grant them monopoly charters to bring their loyalty back up. Um, I'm tempted to make this into a merchant spot as well, actually. Because if I go into the... Where is the button? Yeah. This is a, these are really productive provinces. And that's, generally speaking, the productive provinces is where you want the merchants to be, right? And these are like really, really good coffee producing provinces. They have good trade power now. Because they're starting to get nice and big and strong. So I'm tempted to give this over to the merchants. Because they'll give me some trade power. They will uh, re prevent autonomy affecting trade power, production efficiency, naval force limit, and stuff like that. 
And in general, it'll also just make my merchants a little bit stronger. So when I ask for diplomatic support and stuff like that, they'll be more willing. So I think I'm going to call a diet here and then demand military support. So we'll call the diet, then we'll demand military support. I'm only getting 100 points. 100 points is a decent amount, though. Those 100 points will get me closer and closer to getting my next tech, which will give me a further improved flanking range. Okay, we took back one of these provinces. Should take this one relatively quickly. Uh, that's it. We've pretty much done it. So let me see here. What if I were to negotiate with Mara on their own? Ah, they're slightly too expensive. Damn, 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 damn. What if I were to take a province? I can't quite get that much. They're just slightly too expensive. Could I bring that down somehow? Is there... Province War Score cost? Hmm... I might have to just settle with a vassalization of Medina and then grabbing a couple of these provinces off them in the dirty way. So let's have a look. Sue for peace. Medina will become my vassal. Okay. And... I can grab a couple of provinces for free, essentially. Take their capital, or I could take this. Hmm. I think I'll separate piece Mara and take some of these, like, provinces. What if I were to give them to my vassal? Hormuz, would you take these two? What if I were to give these two to Bahormuz? Now I'm suing peace directly with Mara and I took these two provinces as well. Snatch them up, get the Arabian Peninsula on lockdown. Well that would be a good move I think. I will take all your money. Yep, I like that. Take these four provinces and these two. Okay, that'll be peace with those. And then you should be trying to core that at some point. Then we'll talk to Medina. Hey, Medina, buddy. Gotta wait for my diplomat to get home. Ah, man, do I make them a vassal? It would mean I would want to start, um... It would mean I would want to... I would want to annex one of my vassals pretty much immediately. So yeah, but I'll, I'll make you my vassal. Clear offer. You're going to become my vassal. You're going to give me all your money. And that'll be that. Now, we are over our, our relation limit, but that's okay. Let's see, how does this settle our people here? So, Oman is probably going to be the first one that we, we do the thing with. 
25th of August, we'll start improving relations. I can pull back these guys now. So we want to vassalize, or we want to uh, annex one of our vassals now. Let's bring our army maintenance down, because we're trying to save cash right now to do corruption things. Reduce our corruption. So our people are a little bit disloyal. It's not the end of the world. We should be able to annex Oman here in the not-too-distant future. We're going to be improving relations with them. Do that there. So we need to wait till their liberty desire ticks down a little bit. We could also potentially spend some of our prestige to demand to sort of force their thingy down a little bit. Which I think spending my prestige here again is a painful move, but I think it would be worth it to, to get these guys under my banner. I think we're going to take the admin power here. Well, the army tradition and stuff is really, really nice. Again, it would keep me up over that 60, towards that 60 mark, which would be really good. Now, I'll take the military guidance. Also, I have a lot of, I have more manpower, or, or army force limit right now. So I think we'll take advantage of that. I think it might be time to create two stacks. So we'll wait until they're in the capital and then we'll look into creating two stacks. Ulema gains loyalty. I would gain corruption or I could lose corruption. Yeah, I think I'll lose the corruption because that's like one of the big things I'm spending money on right now. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a new regiment. This is going to be eight infantry, four cavalry, and a cannon. So it'll be a 13 stack, which is a pretty reasonable size. And then I'll have a support stack here. This support stack could have potentially three more units in it. So I'll add a couple of cavalry and a, uh, an infantry. Then, potentially could build the regimental camp to get extra force limit. I don't think I'll do that just yet. I think I would prefer to get manpower first if I were to do that. Um, now, Zabid definitely... Okay. Adal declared war on Kaffa. That makes things a little bit awkward for me. I will accept this. Even though I don't want to be at war right now. We're going to make a couple of cores. Um, okay, I'm thinking. Brain. Come on, Brain. I was hoping to start annexing a vassal, but that's not going to happen now. Because Adal called me to war. That's fair and reasonable. What's the army sizes like? Yeah, we have a way bigger army. Although a lot of it is me. I'll see if he can handle it on his own. I might do a... I'll do a little bit of contribution, but I won't do, be doing a huge amount of contribution. Let's see. I might just siege down a little bit over here and see what I can do. Oh my dear god. That's a leader with six fire, three shock, two maneuver. Dear Jesus Christ Almighty. And they have a high tech. Mother of God, you picked a fight with a wrong army. What are you doing, ally? Can I roll a leader even remotely that good? I could roll a 12 pip leader. In theory, it's possible. Let's do it. Roll me 12 pips. That's not 12 pips. <laughs> Jesus. Um, right, this guy's gonna sit on this army. And drill. He does have shock, at least, which... 
it's not going to offset this horrific, painful six fire. Oh my god. This is going to be brutal. You're off the wall, man. What are you doing? I need to bring my whole army over here now to try and fight this. Oh, what are you doing? Recall. I can't annex you while we're at war, can I? No. I enforced my religion on Hormuz purely for this benefit over here. Let's get in on the fight. Can we make it in time? It's possible. It's possible that we make it in time. No, we didn't make it in time, but now we're locked into the combat. I mean, we did obliterate them, however, because we are pretty good on morale here. In fact, to the point where we completely obliterated their stack, which gives me an opportunity to take the fight with this stack up here while it's exposed. I guess not. Let's have a look. Where are their forts? They have only one fort, so these guys should be pretty easy to uh, farm war exhaustion on them by occupying them. Okay, I'm still burning a lot of corruption here, but that'll go away here once this hits its uh, maximum number. You're not taking too much attrition here, are you? Oh, the supply limit. What's giving you attrition here? Siege and Warriors of the Sahara. Ouch, this is going to hurt me a lot, hanging out in these territories. Go ahead and take that on. I'd send some infantry in every direction. Go occupy down some of this territory. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're going you're going to go catch these guys. Well, that's interesting. Meanwhile, we're basically murdering the entire uh the entire arm our territory of Mercuria. Prevent him from raising an army and uh stuff like that. You have no you have no siege value, so there's no point keeping you there. Get over to Gazira. Am I at war with this guy in the fog? No. Uh, I would have recommended against that. So we're basically occupying his entire territory right now. I already lost a leader. Commandant. Oh, I think that was a... Advisor. Yeah, I'll take land maintenance here. That'll save me a decent chunk of cash. I wish it would tell you how much you're saving. That would be nice to know, so you can make a value judgment more easily. Yeah, you do have siege value, so let's get you over to the capital. Get all these armies heading up the right direction. Big te doom, big terrifying ten stack of like these super troops. You have too many diplomatic relations because I was hoping to annex Oman, but then I got called into this war, and we can't annex while we're at war. And in either case, he's loyal now, which is good. Medina. We're making friends with Medina. Hormoz is still upset because we enforced religion on them. Which is, you know, that's understandable. May as well just improve relations with them. 
I'll improve relations with the Ottomans as well. Let's have a look. We have favors. We have a we have a decent number of favors. We're getting a favor every three years just because we're so small in comparison to the Ottomans. The Ottomans are huge. Like look at these provinces: 10, 11, 13, All these things. If you look over me, I'm I'm still quite small. On the map, we're kind of similarly sized, but they're way, 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 way bigger, just because their their provinces have such high value and stuff like that. We need to be wary of this. Taking a lot of attrition here. We need to like get rid of all the troops that aren't necessary. So what is this? This is just a capital fort. That means I only really... I don't need to have cavalry here. In fact, I can get away with this much. Just to minimize how much attrition we take. Because otherwise it's going to be brutal. So he's sieging one of my provinces. That's fine. The hope, the hope is that by sieging him down, his war exhaustion will start to just skyrocket. Yeah, you can see here. Couple of ticks here on the length of war, and he will be on medium uh, enthusiasm already. Ah, yes, we got them out of the war nice and quick. Excellent. So we got them out of the war already. So let's get our armies back home. Looks like you're going to Ausa here. The diplomatic relations is hurting me a little bit, but we'll be able to recover that just fine once we get some of this other stuff done. This siege should tick over as well, and that'll get Medri Bari out of the game. The electors have elected Austria to be the thingy again, and an imperial reform. Ooh, national unrest and diplomats for the leader. Unrest for the non-leaders and diplomats for the leaders. Okay, we captured another couple of provinces. That's going to reduce the corruption we're paying. Um, nice. Look at that income. That's a really, that's a really solid income in my opinion. It's like really, really great. Make this into a state. And then we'll core them both. Now I know I said I know I said we were saving up for uh, innovative ideas, but I'm still gonna make my cores and make myself bigger and scarier. Out of curiosity, where's this institution? How's it doing? Okay, we siege down that. Okay, the institution has made it to Naples, so it'll start jumping across down here. It's spreading very slowly through North Africa. It's actually spreading much faster through Northern Europe. Combine these back together. So what is this war? What, what is this war over? I think it's over Sidemo, right? So I'm going to go get that. I'll combine these. What's the combined G again? G, right. And then we'll move these guys to be over in support. And let's see. We have enough cash to where I could consider, even at war, I do want to get the production thingy in, in Adan. And that's absolutely worth it. State maintenance. Ah, I need to get another admin tech before I can build that. I'm curious to find out if those stack. I've never actually built the courthouse before. Medri Barry will be forced to give it all. 10% of their income each year. They will last for... Yemen will get 64 of this amount. Nice, we're picking up money. Result in inflation. We're getting prestige. Excellent. Really, really great here. So once we flip this, 
Are they running around my territory? What's going on? What are you guys doing over here? What are you... Adele, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing over here, huh? Where are you going, buddy? I don't understand. I don't understand what he's going over there, but that's fine. We're sieging down the war goal. That should flip things in our favor. It should, well, maybe not fully in our favor, but it should flip it. Um, there we go. So now we're neutral on the war. Oh, my eye. I won't be able to make it there, but I tell you what, we are actually, we're 25 minutes in, so that's going to be the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.